Hey YouTube, Shukin Shinobi here with a review of the Forza Module Change Series 01, Kamen Rider Forza Base States. So the Forza Module Change Series is the budget line for Kamen Rider Forza. Uh, double had the double form change, O's had the O's combo change. So Forza has the Module Change Series. This is a budget line for uh, basically the toy line for kids to have an action figure of Forza. Um, I will be comparing it to the SH figure art release, so we got him hanging out over here. So I will compare the two uh, right after this main review. Uh, this is brought to you by CS Toys International. They are currently having a sale on these for about 40% off at the moment. Uh, so go ahead and nab them while you can if these interest you. It is actually a really fun line. So these retail for about 2,800 yen a Piece. There goes the figure art. Um, and so they're a little bit cheaper than the uh, figure art and uh, much more compatible with uh, kids than the figure art releases are. So here is the figure itself. Uh, the box itself is just back here. This is pretty much it outside of the back showing all the stuff that uh, it can do. But very cool. Uh, the figure itself actually isn't that bad. As you can see, it obviously doesn't have as much articulation. However, it does have a very nice uh, compound eye effect on the head sculpt. So I think that's a very nice touch. As you can see on the figure art, the heads actually aren't that different um, outside of a few cosmetic differences. Outside of that, they're actually pretty similar. Uh, a lot of missing paint, obviously. The... Uh, Sides here don't look nearly as impressive. The Forza driver itself is just a big blue brick. Uh, nothing there. And the, the pieces of the driver don't come out. It's always going to be rocket launcher, drill, and radar. No matter what module you put in here. So, uh, outside of that, it's not that bad. Not too much paint from the back. Lots of screw holes exposed. But uh, for articulation, you have full rotation here. As well as that, there's a swivel right there at the bicep. A single joint right there. A swivel. you got a little bit of finger movement here to hold various weapons and things. Full rotation, ball jointed head. I know neck movement, just what's uh, connected to the neck and the head. So that's all you got there. A simple ball and socket joint for the thigh. And hip, rather. A thigh swivel. Single joint. And then, whatever you want to call this series of swivels for the ankle. So that's all for the articulation. Like I said, you can actually get a pretty decent amount of poses. Not as much as a figure, obviously, but there's enough range of motion here to where it's actually a very playable toy. Uh, the fun thing about this is just the ease of use. You have the uh, multiple different little modules here. So you've got rocket, launcher, drill, and radar with this one. So his main four, that's usually the default in the driver. And what these do is they basically just snap on. While the figure art has a complex pulling out the legs and putting in everything uh, with the joints here. Just go check out my base dates figure arts review if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so the, it's, it's got a more complicated system with switching out parts. These just plug on. There is no switching of parts. Obviously, because it's a budget line, you do have a lot uh, lower quality of the module. Obviously, there's no blacked-in lines. This is a lot bigger of a piece because uh, it has to accommodate the entire leg as opposed to being the leg. So, you've obviously got a little bit of differences there. However, the line is very playable. To attach the rocket module, all you have to do is line up the slot on his arm right here with the opening right there and it pegs right in and now he has the rocket module on him. Uh, for launcher all you have to do is it helps to move his leg down like that and again slide the raised plate with the slot and slide it right in. You've got launcher. The cool thing about the launcher is it does have a working uh, launching mechanism just like that, so it launches the top uh, two. The other three do not launch. So that's pretty cool that it does have a working uh, missile launching 
mechanism since the figure out one doesn't. The drill module, you just take, bring his uh, foot down, and again, slide right in. Um, it does actually spin. There's nothing in there to make it spin, but it does manually spin on its own. And then radar, the same thing like the rocket, you just slide it right on there, and you have the radar. So obviously he's going to have a little bit of a difficult time standing, but actually we can uh, get him to stand pretty decently, just like this. So very cool. Um, like I said, it's a just it's a playable line. It's a it's a toy that you can pick up, uh, just have sitting on your desk, pick up, swap out some different modules, and have fun. Whereas the figure art is a very detailed, highly articulated collector's toy. And it just doesn't have that ease of use. Yes, you do have all the modules. They will all get released. Uh, it's just between taking off this joint and feeling like you're breaking it sometimes and swapping the feet and swapping the hands and swapping the arm pieces and swapping the little bits of the driver, playing with a figure art is absolutely tedious. Whereas with uh, this line, it's not only cheaper, but... It's incredibly fun to play with. Uh, I've I got the whole set in one go, uh, thanks to CS Toys uh, for doing this, and it it's just it's really fun to play with. I love it. Uh, it just grabbing any of the figures that aren't Meteor because he isn't compatible with the modules, and just putting them in randomly and having fun with whatever comes with what. It's just incredibly. Fun. I love these figures, and considering how much I don't like Forze, that's saying something on the fun factor of these toys. Obviously, if you just get this guy, you're not going to have too much fun because this will get boring after a while. This is all you got. However, with the SP set, you have a clear base states with a ton of modules, plus if you get all of the forms, plus the SP set, you will have all the modules at your disposal for a fairly affordable price, especially if you take advantage of the sales going on right now um, with them basically almost 50% off. Uh, you can get all of them in pretty much one go. They are all in stock, and you just get a very, very fantastic, fantastic deal for a ton of modules and a ton of pretty cool figures. And within seconds... Yeah, I did edit that, but it literally was seconds. You're back to square one with no modules attached. Very easy to do. If you have kids that watch Rider with you that are a little too old to get full enjoyment out of playing with the vinyl figures, this is an absolutely fantastic line. Wizard's line is going to be called the WAP series, the Wizard Action Please series. WAPs. Um... So, if uh, you want something akin to this for the newer series, check out the WAP figures. Um, if you're watching O's, like I said, the O's combo change figures all have the same fun playability and simplicity to it. There's no extra pieces lying around, just the modules, just the figure. Yeah, it is a little bit disappointing that uh, this isn't painted a little bit better, but considering the fact that it is a budget line, you're pretty much good to go. Now, in terms of comparing the figure art and the O's combo, or the O's, this isn't O's, this is Forza, what am I doing? They're, the figure art's actually shorter than the uh, FMCS toy, which I find interesting. Now, obviously, the figure art is much more accurate to the show. You get all the details, you get the switchable switches, and the floppable um, modules. But like I said before, it's just not that playable. It's a great display piece that looks absolutely incredible. And like I said, if you haven't checked out my Base States Figure Arts review, I will link it in the description or put it right there. Uh, so do check that out if you haven't uh, seen it yet and you do want a little bit uh, more of a mental comparison. If you're looking for something fun and exciting, get the FMCS series. If you're looking for a more collector's piece and you don't care whatsoever about the modules, then buy into the figure arts line. That's personally how I see it. If you're going after all of the modules, definitely get the FMCS line. 
Uh, like I said, you can get all the modules in one go off of CS Toys right now for a pretty affordable price. And it's just a lot more fun to just sit there and swap out the modules all instantaneous like. But if you're a stickler for details, obviously this line won't cut it for you. So if you're looking for fun, this is the way to go. Uh, I personally love them. Like I said, CS Toys has them on sale until the end of November 2012. Uh, for about 40% off, making these a very affordable figure line if uh, you loved Forze and you want to get in on the modules and everything. Definitely the way to go. Um, I knocked on the budget figure lines early on in my collecting, and I regret it completely because these are incredibly fun to play with, and I have to hand it to them. It's a really fun toy. So uh, you can check out this and more at CS Toys International at CSToysJapan.com. And of course, check out ShugunShinobi.com for this updates on my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com, the podcast bringing the latest token news in the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye.